Hello everybody, I am here to give you a Mario Kart 8 impressions video. This is not going to be a review, I might possibly plan on doing that sometime, but for now I would love to give you all my impressions on Mario Kart, a very deep analysis of what's going on, and what I want in the game, and what I don't want in the game. Let's start looking at the trailer right now. The start of the game shows a brand new Bowser's Castle with a massive rocky Bowser smashing the road and making it anti-gravity-esque. And of course I did actually see the laser beams which are actual NPCs from Super Mario Bros. 3. And that other clip that you just saw with the Wario statue, I believe that was... I believe that's Wario Coliseum from Mario Kart 64. I don't know. Either it could be that, or it could possibly be a complete reimagining. As far as I have looked at this trailer, I am positive that the courses that are making a return are going to be DK Jungle from Mario Kart 7, followed by Music Park, also from Mario Kart 7. Also, what I have heard is Dry Dry Desert making a return from Mario Kart Double Dash. And, like I mentioned before, I'm positive that could be Wario Coliseum from Mario Kart 64. It's not the GameCube one, no, it's not the Double Dash one, in case you're wondering. And then there's Moo Moo Farm, as far as I believe, either the N64 one or the, um, the Wii one. Mario Circuit from, um, Mario Kart 64. And then Yoshi, uh... Gorge, I believe? I don't know. But I do know it's from the N64 Mario Kart, but I forget what it's called. Yoshi something. And then we have the infamous N64 Rainbow Road, which is also making a return to the Mario Kart franchise. And that's actually one of my few favorite courses, so I'm kind of happy that they're implementing that one course into this game. And what I believe is Luigi's Mansion from the DS Mario Kart making a return? I don't know. And then there's Pipe Parkway, I believe, from Mario Kart 7. Cheap Cheap Lake from Mario Kart 7. Yoshi Park from Double Dash. Uh, Mario Circuit from Mario Kart Wii. And, um, oh yeah, Grumble Volcano from Mario Kart Wii. And I could possibly believe that the city one is either... Toad's Turnpike from Mario Kart 64, or it could possibly be Mushroom City, I believe? Yeah, Mushroom City from Double Dash. Okay, that's all of the courses that might possibly make a return. Time for all the characters that I want excluded and I want implemented into the game. The characters that I want implemented in this game are Bowser Jr., and I was really disappointed that he wasn't in the last installment, which is exactly why I would love for him to be in Mario Kart 8. He was in the last few installments, much like Mario Kart Wii and Double Dash. Why didn't they have him in Mario Kart 7? Sure, he may not be a major character, but come on, at least let him have all the fun. Also, what I am hoping for is Fawful. Fawful is one of my few favorite characters in the Mario franchise. Technically, the Mario & Luigi RPG series, to be exact. I mean, not to say that he will be in this game, which I'm kind of disappointed about, considering that, again, he is my favorite character. So, I would actually love to see Fawful in the next Mario Kart. Or probably this one, if Nintendo decides to ever, you know, continue to develop this game after delaying it or whatever. Or, maybe it would be even better if they actually added him as a DLC character in a DLC pack for Mario Kart 8. Now that I would really love to see. Now characters that I want excluded from Mario Kart 8. Lakitu. Sadly enough, he is going to be in the game and I kinda don't like that actually. Mainly because I am extremely annoyed by his voice actor. And I literally think that it's just really lazy game design to have enemy characters as playable racing characters. I mean, come on, Nintendo. You can be more creative than that. And speaking of being uncreative, 
Wiggler. Wiggler is also an enemy character. I mean, it, this doesn't really bother me that much, but again, it's just really lazy to have enemy characters as playable racing characters. So, Lakitu and Wiggler I want excluded from Mario Kart 8. And then there's the Honey Queen, which literally had left me pissed off very much. I was literally disappointed by the fact that they had the Honey Queen in this game. Literally, it was extremely lazy as hell. But, on the bright side, however, there is another character that I actually want implemented in the game. So, here is who they are. <clears throat> Diddy Kong. I believe he will be in this game, but I'm not entirely sure. I haven't been following with Nintendo so much lately. Dixie Kong. I'm possibly believing she might be in this one, but I'll have to find that out. Cranky Kong, I would actually like him to be in the game. Or maybe Funky Kong. Whichever works for them, I'll go with it. One more character that I would like to see in Mario Kart. Oh yeah, maybe Mallow and Gino could be playable characters in Mario Kart. I mean, I'm not suggesting they should be, but it would be really nice if they were in a Mario Kart game. Considering that I saw them in Super Mario RPG... Maybe they could have a lot of potential as racing characters in Mario Kart. Although, sadly, that's not going to happen. At least here, that is. Hopefully for future Mario Kart installments, we'll be able to get them. Possibly. That is if it never happens. And that wraps up today's Mario Kart 8 impressions. I am literally looking very forward to this. I wish I had a Wii U. Sadly, I don't. I really would love to buy this game. It looks very innovative, yet extremely unoriginal. So yeah, scratch that I said innovative, because it was already done since Crash Nitro Kart, which was pretty much just an inferior racing game compared to Crash Team Racing. So yeah, Mario Kart 8 is looking really good. And it's looking way much better than Mario Kart 7 by a long shot. I love that there are very many returning courses. In fact, good ones at that. And I'm also liking the fact that there's zero gravity being implemented into even the older courses as well. Well, at least I hope they do that. It would make the courses feel a lot more creative, yet very less innovative. Because, again, Crash Nitro Kart happened. <sighs> Man, that was quite a mouthful. So, I am going to end this impressions video here. So, I hope you all enjoyed. And I also hope that you're looking forward to Mario Kart as well. So, see you all later.